Well, many of us know someone who is a nurse, whether it's a friend or family member. Now, today is a great day to show some appreciation for that person because it's the start of National Nurses Week. And our Brooke Slyer is live in Union County with more. Brooke. Good morning, Dave. Well, right now I am at Kiki's Coffee House in Anna with Nurse Jennifer Glodo, and I promise the location will make sense a little later on in the show. We haven't got to that quite yet. The last time that I talked to Jennifer, it was during the holidays, and I did a story on your grandmother who is in a nursing facility with dementia, and um, some former SIU fraternity members put together a Christmas video for her because she was going back to that memory when she worked there as a cook at the house. And it was just it brought a smile to my face to see that they went above and beyond, you know, not just the Christmas card, but I think it was almost 40 members put together a little hello message for your grandmother that they called Junebug. So how did that make you feel that, you know, they went above and beyond to do that? It really touched my heart. Um, as a nurse, you know, you, you try to go out of your way sometimes for patients. So to see that other people do that, um, that they come together, with people that they know, um, you know, they had known her back in their college days and that they thought enough of her to put that together. I just thought it was so heartwarming and it just really touching. And you could see in the video some of the smiles that came to her yeah. face when she was watching that video. I mean, what was that like for you seeing her watch that video? That's a little inception right there, but yeah. <laughs> It was, I mean, just amazing because, you know, of all things for her to remember, I was so happy that it was a happy memory uh, that she could go back to and reflect on. And then when they sent that, she, she, she remembered some of them. Some of them we had to kind of tell her and talk to her about, but there were times that some of them would pop up and she knew exactly who they were. And it was just really a lot of fun and just really sweet to watch that. So I want to know, you know, how your grandma's doing now, because I know that you keep a lot of um, updates on your Facebook. Yeah, she's doing pretty good. Um, she's had some, you know, a couple of setbacks, but overall she's doing okay. It's kind of a roller coaster ride. Anybody who takes care of a patient at all knows, you know, regardless of the disease, it can be a roller coaster. It can be up and down, and you just kind of have to lean on your family and uh, the people around you to help you get through that, to help take care of that patient. That's something a lot of the time we as nurses, you focus on the patient in front of you at that time. You can't worry about everything you have to do. You have to devote that time to that patient. And it's the same with taking care of family members. Well, really, you know, just taking things, you know, day by day and just kind of what's happening that day and just focusing on that. So, again, we're talking about National Nurses Week and we are with Nurse Jennifer Glodo. And coming up, I'm going to talk about why I'm here at Kiki's Coffee House in Anna. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and toss it back to you in the studio. Well, good Thursday morning. I'm sure Brooke's pretty happy to be inside this morning. A little chilly out there here to start. Uh, of course, uh, we've got temperatures right now in the 40s. 